So it's not a great hammer at the moment. I think we can fix that. It's actually really cool. He's got a shot of his workshop in there. So I'm going to take the cover and the first page and we'll put those aside. So what we have here, 310 pages of paper. Paper is soft, but if we add resin, we make a really cool substance called micarta and it is extremely hard. But we're gonna have to put resin on every single page. Let me get started by mixing up the resin. Today I'm using art resin. This is usually my go-to resin for making micarta, and that is for one reason, which is that I've got 45 minutes of open time. So that means after mixing, I have 45 minutes before it begins to harden. So I'm gonna start with 20 ounces. And this is one to one, so that's 10 ounces of resin and 10 ounces of hardener. For better or for worse, it is actually 93 degrees in the shop today, which means that the resin is happy, while I am not so happy. It does make working with resin a little easier. It flows better, it works better, it mixes better, and I sweat like crazy. The last time I did this, I tried lots of different methods from dipping to soaking to pouring it on, and at the end of the day, the best method was to just brush it on a page and move on to the next one. And that's what I'm gonna to do today. Page one. Didn't even get to count the first pages. But I don't touch every single page because the resin will soak through. Hey, chapter four. We're making progress. <laughs> Got 67 pages. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. I am starting to remember why it's been three or four years since I've done my last book, my carta. This is crazy. And I've already used half of the resin. And we are not even a third of the way done. So we're gonna have to mix up some more resin, I betcha. And if you could feel that you could feel how heavy this was already. Just smashing Adam's face. Don't ask me why. It's not supposed to be disrespectful. We just need some more resin on here. Sorry about that, Mr. Savage. Oh, here's another picture from, um, oh, I thought this was, this is from Space Cowboys. That's cool. I didn't know he worked on Space Cowboys. I hope somebody's been warming up in the resin bullpen because my hands are getting cramped from spreading resin on paper explain this to the doctor. So, so uh, how exactly did you sustain this injury? Well, I was gluing a book shut. Sure, I'll put on that jacket. Hey, why does this thing have such long sleeves? We're at page 183. I am glued to this book. Uh, sorry, but yeah, it's definitely working. I'm gonna set it like this while I mix up some more resin in hopes of Oh my gosh. In hopes of the, um, I'm going to set it like this, that in hopes that the resin will continue to seep through while I mix up another batch. I've completely given up on the brushes. Uh, my wrists are actually hurting. I'm going to give myself carpal tunnel from painting resin on Adam Savage's book. I've abandoned all pretenses of gluing every single page. I think that is never going to happen. This book is soaked with over 20 ounces of resin. I am doing about every six or seven pages now. This method is not the neat method. It might be the most effective. I feel bad about gluing all these pictures closed. It's a really fascinating book. <laughs> to the acknowledgments. It's almost coming to an end. Oh, 45 minutes of my life. What's wrong with all your books? Knowledge is knocked inside. Okay, I think we did it. I think we glued a book shut, everybody. Congratulations, we glued knowledge shut. Oh yeah, I can feel the book is starting to get warm. It's starting to get warm, the resin's starting to heat up. 
you can see the book is swollen with resin. I would say that there's about 25 to 30 ounces of resin in there. This resin can take up to five days to cure. In such tight quarters here as a book, I think it'll be done in a day or so. As you can see, we have turned this into a solid block. This is my carta. It should now be a solid object all the way through. You can see some resin leaked around the edges. We mixed up a total of 36 ounces of resin. I'd say there's at least 30 ounces of resin in this book. I did buy two copies so that at least I would have one for my library as well as one for making. So let's weigh this. First we'll weigh the unmolested book, 537 grams. <laughs> okay, 1274 grams. So yeah, that's what, 700? That's a lot of resin. I think you all know what's coming. Let's get to it. Okay, it's all loaded in my CNC machine, and this is the point where I second guess every single thing I've ever decided to do. And uh, I'm just gonna close the lid. It's gonna be fine. 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 <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about this gouge, which was unfortunate and obviously something wrong with either the CNC or my setup, but it wasn't the end of the world. It was just a deep gouge. And so I said to myself, self, we're going to figure this out. And I changed some settings and I started it up again. And I went inside to get the memory card for my camera and I came back. That is not what this. it was supposed to look like. It was supposed to look like that. There is no way that I'm going to do this again. I am not going to make another book. So here is the second book that I made. And since I already had a waste book now, I decided to see how it cut with some different tools in the shop. And so that is why we've got some unusual cuts here. I'm not going to sentence the new book to the old book's fate, because frankly, I just can't take making a third one of these. Um, so we're going to try something different. So this is actually the shape that I was planning to cut out on the CNC. And what I've got here is just a simple paper template. And I'm just using packing tape to adhere it to the top of the book. The bandsaw has to cut into the pattern in order to cut the pattern, which means that I would have to cut the book itself so I'd have a gap, I'd have a cut somewhere in the book. But the scroll saw allows you to cut inside a pattern. I hate my scroll saw. It's everything I hate, all rolled into one, slow, tedious, and I have to be stupid accurate. It's got to be great! figure out what's wrong with my CNC. This is no fun at all. It's like jumping all over the place. Is that part of the enjoyment of this? It's like trying to hold down a kangaroo. For those of you wondering, this is what my scroll song skill looks like. So I'm going to um, 
I'm going to go hit the sander. We then head over to the router table to further blur the line between mistake and intent with an 8 inch roundover bit. And I'm just using some 5 minute epoxy and we're just going to adhere our cover back to the book. A pretty decent contact between the book and the cover. We'll go ahead and let that cure. If we need to add some more resin, we've got more resin. My carta. It is an incredibly hard substance, and you can turn a book into a hammer. There's the face of it. I don't even see any damage. I guess I should start off by apologizing to Adam Savage for encasing two of his books in solid resin. Though, if anyone can appreciate turning a book into a hammer, I'm guessing it's him. This is so cool. I've made book my carta before I made it into a tablet stand but I've never tried to cut a pattern on it. I'm pretty sure I had the depth setting wrong on the CNC and the material is just so incredibly hard that it was trying to take too big a bite and that was, that was my problem. And honestly, cutting an inch thick micarta on the scroll saw, uh, it was hard. And I, I really, really, I really hate the scroll saw. What's fun about micarta it's obviously got a ton of weight to it. The other thing that's really interesting about it is the pattern that you see on it. Because every single page is different, whether it's got pictures or writing, but they're all uniform in the fact that they all have the correct spacing and everything else. So when you're looking at the blank, there's this uniformity of chaos. And I really like the way that that looks. Um, and, and it's actually a functional hammer. I, I mean, it works. Since the first one failed, I now have some material I could use for, I don't know, maybe turning stock or some other project. If you have ideas as to how to use this other piece of micarta, the book had come out. I've been following Adam for a long time. I was a huge Mythbusters fan. I've been watching Tested for a long time. And so when the book came out, it was absolutely on the front of my list for things to do. And of course, I would love for Adam to see this video. That would make me happy. If he wanted it, I'd be happy to give it to him. Uh, I'm not sure if either of those things are going to happen, but it was really fun to make. I, I love the process and the material that is my Carta. I hope you enjoyed going through the process with me. And if you have any scroll saw tips for me, you can keep them, because I ain't using that stupid thing anymore. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you guys next time.